Hey, so I had something on my mind and on my heart and I wanted to share it with y'all. Um, so today we're doing a Stress Less Summit um, over on Facebook. And one of the topics I was sharing on was like um, reducing and managing the stress that maybe comes with overload information and on social media and stuff. And here's a part that I left out that I'm wishing now that I had, you know, put in because I feel like this is also a very important part for um, keeping your stress low on social media, um, interacting with people and stuff. Um, and it's, it really stems from the verse that's, um, it's in Ecclesiastics, I think it's 721. And it talks about, be careful not to take every word to heart, um, lest you hear yourself, your, lest you hear your servant cursing you. And, um, then the reminder, I think it says like after that, it talks about, you know, you yourself, you know, you've cursed but the whole point or summary of these verses in Ecclesiastes 7, 21, you can go look them up. Um, for me, anyway, I just look at it as it's a really good um, wisdom to follow as far as, you know, when, especially on social media, when people are writing things or maybe they're even doing a video like this, but it's not face to face. You're maybe hearing it secondhand through someone else or, you know, through writing and text, honestly, you cannot get the emotion, the intent of a person, but not to take everything so personally or serious. Um, and I feel like that is something that we can easily do. We can easily feel attacked or attack without even meaning to, um, just depending on how the other person on the other end is um, situated to receive things. And um, I feel like that is something that does come into the social media play when it comes into like reducing your stress and just honestly just being even if what someone has um, maybe said or shared or messaged you um, or texted you even if it does hit you wrong and you feel like it was meant to be an attack or it was um, they were meaning for you to you know get personally hurt or something like that um, or you just take it personally and it just hurts you um, to really give the the grace that you don't know in full their intentions because God knows the heart we do not and then even if their intentions were to hurt you or to be wrong or you know weren't just um, what good does it do for you to go and take those feelings throughout the rest of your day and wear them um, because it's really just hurting that the message or whatever was not well intended it does no good to, to, to think that way. Like, so something that I do that has really helped me because I, I did struggle with this, um, for sure. Like receiving a message and not being personally hurt by it, like, or feeling like, wow, wow, that hurt. Um, it's just better to write a good message, um, in your head. Like even if the words weren't worded well to say, you know what? I'm going to choose to believe that they really did have my best interests at heart. That they are a loving person and that this was just maybe not worded well for me. Um, maybe I'm not in a good place to receive it, you know, um, and go on and love that person and not let it be something that I chalk up into that person's character or um, hold against that person. It's so weird. Social media is so weird, y'all, because of the amount of disagreements and, um, just things that people get upset about or through and sometimes I think like when you're not having to say things it's easier to type more aggressive um, to be honest but I think it's always safest just to assume the very best about people to take things in the very best light that you possibly can and also be aware like there's been times that you know I have you have like we have maybe with passion aggressively shared our thoughts or views maybe with passion we you know um message someone you know our thoughts or views or just you know interacted in a way that maybe missed the bullet maybe it was just like hey it was a spelling typo with the autocorrect that a word was left out and you may still have no idea that it was left out and that someone else is giving you grace <laughs> you know um so that's just a little extra thoughts that i had on that give grace, be kind, and understand like we're all trying to do our best and it's, it's best to come from that point of view. Like they're trying to do their best. They wish me no ill will and love each other, not just in um, 
words alone, but in actions and the way we behave on social media, but like behave towards them, the way we think about them, um, and being aware of our own humanness in this.